But to do that, you would eliminate private health insurance. For basic needs, yes. Our next guest says, if you think that's bad, wait until you hear about Democrats' moderate option, Medicare for America, which he says isn't moderate at all. The founder and CEO of Juniper Research Group and the author of the forthcoming book, The Case Against Single Payer, Chris Jacobs, joins us now. Chris, Medicare for All shows we have an open heart. We want everyone to be included, but what would be the results? Well, the results is that people wouldn't get health care. The Medicare for America plan that's portrayed as this moderate alternative, you actually could not buy private health care on your own. You could not just go to the doctor and say, $50, $100 for a checkup, I have the flu, et cetera. That's banning private health care. That's getting the government in between doctors and patients. So what would it look like? What would, we couldn't do that? What would we do then when we're sick? Uh, Effectively, you would have to go to insurance. You would end up on the government plan. Under the Medicare for America plan, technically, they say they would keep a role for employer-provided health coverage. But any employer, uh, an individual could go to the government plan and the employer would have to pay a fee. Well, after a third, half of of employees end up on the government plan, the employer is going to say, you know, the heck with it, get me out of here. And everybody's going to end up being on the government plan and nobody's going to be able to buy private health care. Yeah, here's some facts about Medicare for America. Employers could continue to offer private insurance as long as it meets certain federal standards. Companies would pay a contribution towards the employee's costs. If they join the public program, premiums out of pocket costs will be based on income. Sounds sound, doesn't it? Well, it sounds nice, yes, but also remember that one of the sponsors of Medicare for America, Jan Schakowsky, 10 years ago during the debate on Obamacare, said the so-called public option would lead to single payer. We know this is where the folks who are sponsoring these, quote, moderate plans want to take us. It's just a question of they view private health insurance as a political obstacle. We can't get 180 million people off of their employer plans right away, so we'll just have to phase them out over time. So, Chris, what is the solution? What should we do? I think ultimately we need to put doctors and patients back in charge. This plan would ultimately result in thousands of direct primary care physicians being able to close up their practices. We have a physician shortage. We need to be encouraging uh, private health care and, and the practice of medicine, not trying to put doctors out of business or under the government's thumb. Ask any physician who takes Medicare. They need supplemental to make their fees and make their costs. We're going to run out of doctors, certainly uh, uh, for certainly general practitioners, and, uh, and, med- and the seniors will actually lose out on Medicare in the long run. This is a folly. Thanks for pointing it out, and I look forward to seeing your book, Chris. Sure thing. Thanks very much. If you want to re-